Hi there, it's Ernest from TripAstute. In this video, we're exploring ChasePay, a new service from Chase Bank that lets you pay online and in stores without your credit card in hand. In a previous video, we reviewed the second quarter rotating bonus categories for the Chase Freedom and discussed how Chase Pay is one of the 5% bonus categories. It seems like Chase is really trying to promote their service, especially given the growth of mobile payment platforms like Apple Pay, Android Pay, and Samsung Pay. So I think a lot of folks, including myself, have wondered, how does it work? Is it like Apple Pay or Android Pay? Not quite, to be honest. When using the app, it's more like a cross between Apple Pay and paying with your Starbucks app, where you have to use a QR code that's scanned by the cashier. This means that the number of places that can accept the payment is limited, but will likely grow over time. To activate Chase Pay, you can either download the Chase Pay app from the Apple or Google App Store and log in with your Chase account username and password, or just go online and click on the Chase Pay link in the right-hand column of your account. You'll need to determine which card will be your default card. You can then use Chase Pay in two ways. If you look at the list of larger merchants that accept Chase Pay, you'll see that they either accept it online or via the Chase Pay app. If they accept the Chase Pay app, it means that you can pay in the store using the QR code that's generated by the app. For example, eBags is listed as a store that accepts Chase Pay online, whereas Best Buy is listed showing that they accept the Chase Pay app. If we try to purchase an item from ebags.com, then you'll see that we're given the option to use Chase Pay as the method of payment. When we click on the link, we're then asked to log into our Chase account to authorize the payment. To show how the app works, we made a small purchase at Starbucks. You basically launch the Chase Pay app and select what card you want to use. And then the screen displays a QR code. Once the QR code is read, your transaction is approved. It's pretty easy and seamless. So before you jump in and start using Chase Pay, here are a couple things to keep in mind. Number one, Chase Pay doesn't work with business accounts and profiles. This really annoys me. I basically had to rely on Fiona's phone to show you how it all works because I couldn't get my Chase Pay app to activate. What I found out was that since I have my business and personal profiles merged online, I'm unable to use Chase Pay. When they combined my account, they basically moved all my personal accounts into my business one, which means that the account registers as a business profile. Chase customer support did offer to separate my accounts again, but I decided against it because I like having that combined view. I don't know why Chase doesn't allow their business accounts to use Chase Pay. Business account users still can't use Apple Pay either on their business ink cards. So it doesn't really make any sense, but I'm hoping they change it soon. Number two, cashiers often mistake Chase Pay with Apple Pay or Android Pay. Don't be surprised if you have to tell cashiers how to process your Chase Pay payments. When we tried to use it, the cashier instructed us to hold the phone next to the reader, like you would for Apple or Android Pay. We had to insist that they scan the QR code. Once they did, it worked. So just know that the technology is still a bit new, so you might have to explain how Chase Pay is different than other payment platforms when making a purchase in store. Number three, check offers in the app. The Chase Pay app will show offers that you can take advantage of, as well as local merchants that accept Chase Pay. Fiona noticed that she had a $10 welcome offer loaded on her app for using Chase Pay for the first time. Number four, redeeming points for gift cards. While I don't recommend doing this, since you can often get more value using your points for travel, you do have the option of redeeming points toward gift cards, which can be then directly loaded into the app as an e-gift card. It looks really convenient, but again, if you're trying to get the most value for your points, I suggest redeeming them for travel. Number five, if you have a Chase Freedom card, make sure you activate the bonus category. Chase has been offering a 5% bonus for Chase Pay this past quarter and continue to offer the bonus from April to June 2018. If you have a Chase Freedom card, make sure you also activate the bonus category. If you need more information, check out our video on the quarter two rotating bonus categories. Have you used Chase Pay? If so, did you use it online or on the app? Please share your experience below in the comment section. If you're interested in applying for Chase cards or any other credit cards, please check out our credit cards offers page. We've partnered with creditcards.com to link you to the latest credit card offers. 
TripleSuit does get a commission if you use our link. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's an easy way to support the channel and help us to continue building content like this video. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, sign up for our newsletter on our website for travel articles, updates, and giveaways. Until next time, travel safe, travel smart.